Hey you guys, hope you all are doing good in the YouTube world. We're on the little uh, two-stroke here today, the little CR250 project. I think what we're going to do is climb a massive mountain, literally straight up. So I plan on giving you guys some riding tips and some riding advice while I'm doing that. So stick around, there's some gnarly climbing coming up. clutch work to do stuff like that where you're and right now I'll make the disclaimer there's that's uh, way steeper than it looks so usually when it's like that you gotta go half clutch in half clutch out kind of thing just to keep keep the rear wheel from breaking traction <laughs> it's pretty dark in here How good of a oh whoa look at all the turkeys oh they're huge wow you don't see them very often oh i didn't even know do they fly i don't even know if they fly or not that's cool okay let me get back on track here so yeah, like I was saying, you guys, I'm uh, give you a quick view of where I'm at here. Gnarly steep country around here, like cameras don't do it justice, but I think what we'll do is just, uh, I got a couple tracks, single tracks to the top. They've been here almost my whole life, but we'll just uh, pick our way up there and then uh, I'll give you guys some tips along the way. So yeah, I'll just explain uh, what I'm on here, you guys. If you haven't seen some of my previous couple videos about the little two-stroke, it's a 2001 CR250. Um, I did kind of a budget restore on it. Like I did, uh, I did all the typical suspension bearings. I put a brand new uh, motor in it, top and bottom end, Wiseco, uh, piston and crank. Um, you know, I did all the typical stuff. Few little nice touches. I added a Magura hydraulic clutch because I can't live without those for my slow wheelies. They do make it much easier, or much smoother, I should say. And uh, what else did I do? I added a, I think it was a 10 ounce flywheel weight. And then I also went with new uh, clutch discs and they were, I went with the steel ones because they do add a little more flywheel, you know, rotation inertia or whatever you call it, rotating mass, I guess. So I get a lot of comments every time I post this bike and a lot of guys are like, they make awesome woods bikes if you can get over the fact that you got to kickstart it, but I get a lot of guys saying they don't have the torque of the 300, which they don't, but it's not that far off. You know, I'm coming off a 300 KTM, which of course that's the ultimate enduro bike, or well, any of those 300s are good, but a 250 motocross bike, I gotta be honest, a brand new tight motor, it's not that much less power and torque, even the bottom end, it's, it's really not that much difference. Like, and what they have going for them is they're so light like it's considerably lighter than you know a starter and a battery and the wiring and all that stuff that's on an enduro bike so if you can get past the close ratio tran you know the motocross transmission you got to kick start it um the benefits are it's nice firm suspension which i like for my little bit of stunt riding that i do and you know it's they're great little bikes so i'll show you guys how they work on gnarly hills Whenever 
the front end comes up or gets a little light, you guys gotta, you gotta be on that clutch, ready to ride that clutch to keep it from going over backwards. And the stuff that's really steep like that, you're just gonna have to carry some momentum because it's, you know, I'll say it again, it's, it doesn't look steep, but trust me. these bikes just rip it's unbelievable they are so happy to be wide open like they just they laugh at it so yeah it gets a little more technical up here this is old quad tracks or quad well it was single track but the quad guys got a hold of it but We'll uh, pick our way up here and there's a bit gnarlier stuff up here that's kind of tricky. You got to really be on that clutch because that's the key. Clutch and momentum. If you guys have never checked out my riding lessons, my I've got, I don't even remember how many, 15 videos or something in the playlists. It's called Learn to Ride Dirt Bikes, but it applies to adventure bikes, dual sports. You know, you can apply the skills to anything. And for many of you that don't know, I used to ride freestyle motocross professionally. I did that for almost 10 years. Um, that was my only living. I did that at a world-class level, like Gravity X Games type stuff. So, so that's where I got a lot of my skills. And prior to that, I was just, I guess, a maniac on a dirt bike that got a few skills along the way. So, right on. to do is touch the clutch and it comes back on the pipe that's second gear I'm in right now so you can hear how I can lug it down and then if you roll the power on that's still second it'll uh it'll wheelie So we'll go climb that gnarly steep one right there, but I'll just show you guys on this one, a little momentum, lots of clutch. You can roll right up to it. First gear. And then just follow that track, but we'll take the uh, super gnarly route over here. You gotta be on the ball for this one. Whew, it's my first climb of the day that's test my skills. I better give myself a little more breathing room. So second gear, we're gonna do that one with lots of clutch. You just listen to the clutch. I'll try and look down there if I can, but I don't think. But I grabbed first, literally in a split second. I almost didn't pull that off. Let's see if we can get a better look at it here. Uh, camera doesn't show it really. Yeah, that's, that's borderline as steep as you're gonna get. So yeah, you guys, I'm gonna run this clip a couple times. I'll do it in slow-mo. You can maybe uh, watch my body position and see how I use my legs for balance and stuff like that. But let's see what happens.
Okay, let's resume this hill climb here. how steep a motorcycle will climb without standing like without using momentum you know just letting it chug I'm just letting the tire grab the dirt and then I just touch the clutch while I'm revving it to bring it back on the pipe. So watch what I mean here. Second gear. And then when you start to lose momentum, grab first gear as quick as you can. Might be a little rich in my oil today, actually. So yeah, where are we here? Pick your way through. I know there's a little road up here we always cut through here to, oh my, here it is, beautiful, look at that, right on. So right on you guys, I hope some of those hill climbing tips help you guys out. Check out the playlists, like I said, learn to ride dirt bikes. There's, there's a couple hill climb videos in there that are quite a bit more in depth than what I just did there, but they're not, it's more technical type hills and stuff like that. I'll drop a card up here in the corner and uh, I thought I'd finish the day off with a couple little slow wheelies. I got a video for that too in the playlists. So right on, I appreciate you guys checking out all my stuff. I got tons of stuff coming in the future, so make sure you guys check back. Definitely hit the button like this and squash the bell. And a thumbs up, never heard a guy. So right on, appreciate it, you guys. Bye -bye. I think we're gonna storm. It was pure blue sky, I don't know what the heck. <laughs>